Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's going to be a good one today here. We're going to go through all the kit outs on the APC that I did for my shooting video. So if you want to see my shooting video first, boom, right there, go check it out and then report back. So I'll just, I'll wait. It's cool. Okay. Now for the rest of you, we, uh, we want to look through this gun. When, when a gun is any hint of being modular, I get super excited. As you can probably tell, I started talking a little fast there. So I'll try and dial that back. <clears throat> just get that grand thumb just smooth, you know? <laughs> Sexy and smooth. All right. So we're going to uh, the, the modular rifle. I freak out. I'm like, woohoo! All of the options. So I grab, you know, this stock and the stock adapter. And this tell it like PDW stock, which is over over here. So I just kind of go nuts, go ham, get everything. So, oh, that's that's where I end up. And then I've got all this stuff. So when I do my shooting video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to to kind of show off the modularity of this platform. And literally, like I would run back, do do my shots, run back, um, just inside and and swap out within like a minute. The stock, the optic, the magazine, well, the magazine, whatever. Um, if I had more foregrip options, I would have done that as well. I could have gotten a little more creative with it now in retrospect, but I think it was still pretty fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to run through the, the loadouts that I did. I'm just going to swap them all on here. And the talking part is going to die down a little bit. There's going to be a little more action here. So no shooting though. Again, about the shooting, that, that shooting video, that's the one for you. I do my videos very a la carte. So if I don't talk about shooting in the description, chances are I'm not going to shoot. So you can just, you know, leave those comments for the shooting video. Uh, again, much want to plug the distributor for BNT in Canada, Wolverine Supplies, and specifically Tyson Lebro there that uh, hustled and sent this gun out to me as soon, like basically pre pretty quickly after it came back from the lab with approval. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. So just a little plug for them. Not my gun, just literally just a demo gun. So um, I would like a gun though. Just gonna you know, throw that out there. Uh, but anyways, I digress. This is my combat loadout when uh, paired with the Elcan Spectre DR 1.5 to 6. Absolutely love this optic. It's, I talk about it all the time. I feel like I should talk about it less, but it's, it's that good. Um, so that's how I had this first pairing. Um, it's, it's a quick detached mount. I'll just put this on. Stop being lazy. Okay, so let's do that. So. You know, guys really complain about these arms levers a lot of times, but they're really, they're not, they're not that bad. I mean, they're old tech, but they're still like, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty low profile compared to some of the, some of the big new mounts. Like, um, as much as I do absolutely love this mount and love the lockup, like these are just quality hinges on this thing and, and locking mechanisms. They are bulky. Um, but, oh, n not knocking it. Cause I do, I'm super thrilled about that, that mount, but just, just saying, um, uh, okay, so from butt to tip, we've got the ACR stock. This is mounted via Dan Haga adapter. Really slick little piece of kit. He makes that guy, uh, just find, look, look for him on Instagram. I think it's Dan Hager, Dan Hager Designs. I follow him um, for a button that note. Check me out as well. I've got a link in my, I already gave you a link. Go check me out already. Um, but uh, he makes really good stuff. It's a lot of it's 3D printed, but he also does aluminum stuff as well. He, he gets sent out and gets aluminum parts. Man, that guy will put an ACR stock on everything. It's uh, it's amazing. I, I'm glad because the ACR stock is actually really good. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to get, honestly, um, some stock adapters for another couple other stocks that I think are really good for some other weapon platforms that I have not seen them yet for that I'm excited for. So I'm, I'm bugging another buddy for that as well. Anyways, uh, moving forward, mentioned the optic already. Just, uh, I think I had actually different mags in it at the time. This is the BNT foregrip. This thing is super simple to deal with. You literally just uh, spin this little dial. The This little front cap separates and you can just pull it right off. I'm going to leave it on for now, but that's it's literally that simple to get on and off. And then moving forward, well, these are BNT um, backup flip-up sights. They're polymer and they are nice and uh, firm. They're not going to flop around on you at all. So... That's, that's that. There's your gas system. If you want to know about the internals more, uh, check out my disassembly video from yesterday that went into really deep detail and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, pull the gun, full gun apart. Nice fluted 18.9 inch barrel. Oh shoot guys, I don't, didn't remember. I don't remember, I, I deal in feet and inches. I'm 
slowly converting to, to getting a handle on the metric stuff. If you want to know any of those details, there's a technical specs section below in the description where I list all that out and I list both metric and imperial dimensions. So if you, if you know, 18.9 is, you know, ancient Greek to you guys, just hit up the description and you can see what it is in millimeters. Um, probably like 490 or something. But, uh, oh man, then this is a, I had a question on my comment section on a previous video, my intro video, where I requested questions uh, for the general overview. And some uh, a guy named Shane, I believe, asked about this um, blast deflector and if it fit. I had it mounted on the APC-223, asked if it fit this, it fits. So the that's the, the flash header that's on this thing. I think it fits anyways, I got it on there pretty snug. So um, that's my quote unquote combat loadout. Let's swap it over. Uh, we'll do the DMR one next and we'll do the PDW one last. So off with the L can. Pop this rear pin. Move this in frame. Um, again, if you want to know why this, I don't pop the front pin, you can check out my longer video. I talk about it on it there. Not longer video. Um, well, I'll talk about it on there too, but mostly the assembly video. So now with this, with this uh, separated, I'm just gonna take a hammer or mallet and just persuade off the stock. Some of the adapters are, they, they pop off a little more easier than others. This one being polymer, it's just a, it's good to have it be snug. So that's, that's it for this guy. The handy dandy dampening system. And we'll set that aside. Toss in our B and T rifle stock, which is adjustable for length of pull. I feel like mine should fold. I mean, it's got the little typical folding mechanism in there, uh, but it doesn't fold. Um, so I'm not sure if this, it's also got the little retaining clip to clip back into the other side of the receiver. So I don't know why mine isn't folding. I might be doing something stupid. Um, and just like, I'm supposed to press some button somewhere. There's a, the ID, IDZ stock for the new, the G36s and stuff. There's a unique feature where it only folds um, you can see my, my stock options for the G36 video uh, here. And again, a modular rifle where I just kind of played around with kitting it out in a bunch of different fashions. So that one had a neat feature. If you want to know more about that, check that video. I'm not going to get into that in here. So should fold, I think. So, but my, for whatever reason mine is not, I might be just, again, daft and missing a button somewhere that's, that's retaining it. But I, I have tried applying a decent amount of pressure to this too, and it has not budged. But and anyways, let's... Uh, Put this on here so just it goes in a little lower and then you just slide it up hinge in the lower and pop in that pin now take this gorgeous zero compromise 420 optic oh man tom go big tactical thank you a ton man this thing is gorgeous thanks for the hustle and getting this thing into canada Ooh, it is gorgeous and it is a really nice Complement uh, to my 527. I've got their 527 as well. And just these 36 mil tubes on these these optics, the glass clarity is just unbelievable. I, when I had this out and looking through it the other day when I had this gun shooting, uh, just so clear and crisp. It's almost like wear sunglasses, like sunglasses advisory for the, for the optic. It's like so bright. It's amazing. Ultra short as well. Like this is like the shortest, I think ultra compact, you know, rifle scope. I'm probably saying something in there wrong. Feel free to correct me and I'll, I'll I've got a correction section now, so I can, uh, I can correct my stuff ongoing if I need to. Cause I don't know everything. I'm still learning. Um, so this was, this was a DMR setup. Again, I think it works quite well in this role. This gun is with an 18.9 inch barrel and you're in 308. Like this is, this gun is ready to stretch. So a 420, I think is a very, a very nice uh, range for this gun. I think this is an awesome optic for this gun, and I'm gonna have to bug uh, have to bug Armament Tech for some Tenebrex flip covers and stuff for this thing because they should be available. Um, seeing as I have them on my 527, have to lock some of those down, keep the glass nice and safe. But that's uh, that's the DMR loadout again. I think which makes probably the most sense given this is the the long version of the rifle. But uh, at any rate, I digress. Now let's uh, get a little funky and we'll go a little old school HK and do a PDW look on this thing. So once again, 
pop that rear pin. This is literally how easy all this is. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Just stocks off. Okay. And where's the PDW stock coming from? Well, obviously I can't afford two because they're freaking expensive, um, but it's on here and uh, it is amazing. It fits quite snug on my 223. Uh, fits looser on the, the 308. Ah, I should have had this started for you guys here. Oop. I should avoid bumping my camera. So if you if your gun does give you a little, I mean a little a little grief, then just persuade it with some soft taps with firearms. Sorry, I bumped my camera again. Uh, you don't want to ever force anything. That's very important. So always just light taps. And it'll be out. So there's the PDW stock. This thing is, instead of being in a, a polymer housing, this one's aluminum. Oh, she is gorgeous. This, when I got it, you know, expensive. But when I got it, I didn't feel so bad. Because it's just so nice. Everything just, everything just glides. Everything is just really nice. These rubberized appointments on the ends, you know, it's, uh, they, they know. Carl, Carl Brueger, you the man, bro. So, then they also have these nice little folding charging handle dealies, which I'm going to unretain from the retaining spring, uh, ah, that uh, action spring. And we're going to swap this out as well. We're going to stop running this thing like an AK. Again, you need to always uh, pull out your, your recoil spring just a hair because it's the little nub on the end of it is retaining the... Uh, the charging handle. Let's get this on the left side here. All right. Send that back home. This guy out of the way. And, whoops. PDW stock. So this, I think, in a second here, hopefully you'll see what I think. What I, what I, what I uh, first saw when I... Well, that was a, a bonehead move. Uh, I put the... Uh, can't see evidently I put the charging handle backwards so it's I'd like to pull it off as a new trend but realistically it's just not functional and uh, let's just not do that rotate that around once you got the uh, that operating rod in there it does lock it in place stock fits in there real nice and there we go there's your little folding pin here's your stock all the way collapsed and tell me that doesn't remind you in a good way of a old school HK G3 like an A3 or something I think A3 is typically G or HK's way of denoting that it had a telescopic stock you know the old school PD dubs and that's that's as soon as I had this thing out that's what it reminded me of I was like wow that is that is too cool even though it's with this long barrel too, because a lot of the uh, HK's 5.56 guns as well, they do the same style. You get the rifle, but you get the telescopic stock, and it just, it looked like this, and I just loved it. I always thought it looked super cool. Um, so again, this is that folding charging handle. I really like it, because it just, it gives you a nice solid, nice solid purchase on it there. And, uh, but it is non-reciprocating. And typically, it folds back down when you drop the bolt, so. Just flicks back just the, the the force of the you know bottoming out just it flips back home uh the new i'm trying to remember i was playing with the new apc 9k pros at wolverine supplies uh, a month or so ago i got a video here if you want to see all those all those guns just a really quick overview of those things uh, but the new apc 9k pro has dual folding charging handles and i can't remember if they stayed shut or if they auto shut they might have auto shut um i, I can't remember uh, but uh, at any rate, they were they were cool, and that gun is also not reciprocating, which is what I really want to see on this gun. Anyways, I think I think that's super cool. The again, this the, the it's such a slick action. It's so smooth. It's hard to communicate that on camera because everything looks kind of clunky. But take it for, take it from me, if you if you if you trust my judgment, like this is one of the smoothest, if not the smoothest action that I've ever felt, and that applies to essentially. I think the APC line in general, maybe the ABC nine, I, I reckon it's probably smooth, but I don't have as much time behind that. So I won't, I won't comment for sure. But between the, the 223 and the 308, 
here, it's it's so smooth. Uh, the, 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 the HK G28 that I have featured uh, in a full video set last week, this guy right here, uh, again, if you want to see that, just go back to my channel, check out some of those vids, but uh, shooting video is pretty cool, that one too, it worked out really well. First shots out of the gun in that one, but that's also got an incredibly smooth action. Oh, it's really nice. And let's just do a quick trigger pull. A little bit of take up. It's a little bit of gr a little bit of something in there, and then it breaks. And then smack the reset. Oh, it's really nice. I mean, out of the box trigger. You don't need to change this. I'm not sure. It might like that, that's like that's very like. Uh, uh, Pointing to the fact that it could take an, an AR air trigger group looks very similar. I mean, it just looks. I don't know if it's actually the same dimensions or not. Um, I can add that to the technical specs or the corrections below if I do, in fact, find out that it can take AR triggers. Um, the other one thing I was going to mention was that this is an aluminum lower, and that's that's pretty cool, whereas the factories were polymer, and they had this molded grip in them. Wasn't a huge fan of that. This guy now has an AR-style grip. You can swap this out with whatever grip you want. Though I do quite like this one. Uh, I'd probably just swap it out in favor of an Ergo Deluxe. Those are my favorite grips overall, just for, for feel and, and filling out the palm. But uh, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a ton. Uh, please check me out on Instagram. Please consider donating to my Patreon. Link right here. Again, as I've mentioned in a couple other videos, my spiel with that is I log lots of guns, but it's, it's not because I have a lot of money. It's simply because I've been crazily buying for the last four years with... Uh, a very anti-gun um, government in, in, in Canada where I am for the last four years and they got office again. So I'm still, you know, nose to the grindstone, you know, constantly hands in the pockets, pulling out cash for the latest kit. So I need some help in the channel in terms of lighting and sound equipment, obviously. Um, so anything you want to throw at, at that thing, I'm 100%. It's all just going back into the, into the gun fund, into this channel. More ammo for more videos more thorough testing so I can give a more accurate representation and just ultimately get better content out to you guys. So that's my, that's my dream. That's my goal. Uh, if you guys can help me, I 100% appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. Peace out. Armageddon out.